What's up, guys? It's your boy Chance here, and I'm actually coming to you with a pretty interesting live stream right now. Um, this is actually something that has been on my mind that I, I'm sure a lot of you are wondering. Like, I haven't like necessarily been asked, you know, this particular question, but I figured it'd be a good topic to answer. And yes, I know as early as shit. I really get it, but this is on the topic of why I'm not a sponsored gamer. And this is something that, you know, is not only true for me, but for a lot of people. You know, like this is completely true for a lot of people as well as myself. Which I think is a pretty fucked up thing, but... You know, what can you do? But I know a lot of people are wondering, you know, you know, because I did put out that video a few months back of me beating the world sprint record on Need for Speed Underground 2. You know, like, you know, you guys would think, hey, you know, this dude beat the world record. You know, he did really well on console. No cheats. You would think that, you know, my views would shoot through the roof and I would have a sponsorship by now, right? Wrong. I don't have a sponsorship for gaming because I don't have 10 million subscribers. It used to be you only had to have like a hundred or like a thousand. Which getting that first hundred elements is the hardest. Hey, Matthew, it's good to see you back in here, buddy. But if you guys look on YouTube, and I can actually send you the link, which I will do right now. If you guys go to YouTube and take a look at this, this link to this video that I'm posting in the comments right now is the link to me setting the world record for Palm Hill on Need for Speed Underground 2. And I did it legitimately. No cheats like a lot of these other you know YouTubers did. I raced straight up. No cheats. I didn't use kilometers because I know that with the video, I didn't get the full kilometers an hour, like the miles per hour thing, but it did say, you know, miles per hour. I wasn't using kilometers an hour. I was using miles per hour because I know there's a difference. Besides that, miles an hour is easier for me to read. Like, I don't fuck around with that other shit. But, you know, I clearly beat the record right there. The record was like a minute and like 60 some seconds. I beat that shit in a minute 50 some seconds. And I also did one other one live on here going both uphill and downhill runs. And you guys would think that, you know, I would gain a lot of subscribers off that. No. They've made it very hard for people like myself who can race on that professional level to actually get up there. Dude, I absolutely love your fusion ideas, man. You got some cool fusions that you sent my way. I love them. But, you know, you would think that you know, with me being able to race on a professional level in game and going against all these people and proving myself and proving that I have what it takes, that I would be racing on a professional level. But no, I can't race on a professional level because I don't have a sponsor. And I don't have a sponsor because I don't have 10 million subscribers on my channel. And believe me, I wish I had the 10 million subs. But honestly, it's not that easy. Because I noticed that anymore, people don't subscribe when they view channels. Like every channel that I watch, I subscribe to. And I even post in the comments, hey, I subscribed. Would you mind, you know, subbing back? But not a one. I mean, would I like to race at a professional level? 
and get sponsored by companies to do what I do best and race? Of course I would. I'm literally one of the world's best drivers and have the footage to prove it. And yet, I'm not a sponsor. And I've hit up major companies and they're like, oh, well, do you have this much on your channel or this much or this much? And I explained to them, no, but that's because people are not subscribing to my channel when they view it. They would rather just watch the video and not subscribe. So really, it's not my fault. And I'm not blaming you guys. I'm blaming those that, you know, watch, you know, my videos, but don't subscribe. Like, it's it's stupid. Like, because I got people asking me, they're like, hey, like, do you have Xbox One or this or that, you know, da, 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 because, you know, we'd love for you to race for us. Like, I've had actual drifting, D1 drifting companies and other racing companies asking me to, you know, drive for them because I've actually done very well on the re very realistic wheel setups and stuff that I've done in the past. And they're just like, dude, like, we would love for you to you know, drive for us. Would you be interested? And I unfortunately have to turn those companies down as much as I would love to race. You know, I can't because one, I don't have my license and two, I don't have a car. Otherwise, I would love to be a professional racer because I know how to race on that professional level. I know how to hold my own. But it's not easy you know, being a pro, you know, getting to that pro level. So I'm literally stuck at the amateur level as a small channel instead of being at a professional level and getting major sponsorships. And see, and that's another thing too. A lot of people don't understand the difference between a sponsorship and a partnership. A lot of these, you know, YouTubers, Say, oh, you know, get this, you know, sponsorship for a smaller channel for free, da, da, da. Sorry, dude, that's not a sponsorship. That is a partnership. And if you guys are wondering what the difference is, a partnership is what a lot of these companies do for smaller channels. They have you post links in your stuff, and then you get a percentage of whatever they make off that item. But here's the thing. Nobody goes to those fucking links. Nobody. Nobody clicks on those links to buy anything. And a partnership is where the company pays you to do what you do. Or they give you something of value for free like a you know, a gaming system or this or that or something to help you get to where you want to be. Like I know some companies, they'll send you free gear as a sponsorship and this and that and whatnot. But I've been doing YouTube for over 10 years. I started my first channel back in literally like May of 2010, and I've been doing it ever since. My first channel has like 300 and something subs, and that's it. Because I started out doing AMVs, and if you guys are wondering what an AMV is, it's an anime music video. You'll find them everywhere. But back then, it was huge, and it still is largely big. But for a gamer like me, who drives on a very professional level like it's very hard to get an actual real sponsorship because i don't have 10 million subscribers and in order to get 10 million subs you have to have people subscribe to your channel and like i said it's not easy doing that you know i i can literally take all my content put it on one channel like, I can take all my DK Customs channel stuff, put it all onto my 
new retro gaming, my retro gamer channel, and still not get any subscribers hardly. Like, it's stupid. Like, you know, I do race on a pro level, and as you guys can tell by the footage of the link that I posted in the comments, I can race and hold my own on a professional level. Like, you know, actually earlier today, I was sitting down playing Asphalt Airborne, and I went up against two of the top drivers in the world on there, in multiplayer online, and won. I held my own against two or three of the top drivers in the world. So you guys would figure, hey, you know, like this guy's obviously good. You know, he needs to be sponsored. I'm not sponsored because I don't have 10 million views or 10 million subs. Well, I got well, over, I know on one of my channels, I got like well over 10 million views. I know that. And I think it's on my original one that I have like the 10 million views for the AMVs. But, you know, like, I know how to hold my own against some of the best, and I've proven it time and time again. I've set world drift records. I've beaten several records for Underground 2 and Carbon, as well as some other records for other Wii games. Good God, man. I set the world record for Samurai Warriors 2, or... No, Samurai Warriors 3 on Nintendo Wii. I got over a million KOs in one single mission in under five minutes. So what does that tell you? That tells you, like, if I were any other company and I saw someone like me competing and doing really good at that professional level, I would sponsor them. I really would. Or even if they're not, you know, on that pro level, but I see they have a lot of potential and they're doing really well, I would sponsor them. But yet, no company is willing to give someone like me, who has a small channel, a shot at becoming a professional driver. And you know why? All because I don't have 10 million subs. I mean, do you have any idea how hard it is to get over a over literally a million subscribers? Do you know how hard that is? And I've been doing gaming channel my two gaming channels for literally the past two, three, four, five years. And so it's not as easy as a lot of people think. I mean, yeah, you got guys like Slap Train, Black Panther. You know, you got guys like Markiplier, Jack Septicai, um, Jelly Time, uh, Quibble Cop, and all those guys who are actually making money at what they do. And they've been doing it literally right around the same time frame. You know, and they've done really well for themselves, but YouTube has changed so much, and honestly, in some ways, for the worst. Because it used to be you didn't have to have that many subscribers to, you know, get, you know, a play button or to become a professional and get a sponsorship. But now they change up the rules so much that it's harder for people like me who are really good at what they do on YouTube to make a living. I mean, yeah, of course I got my music and stuff like that. But like I said, I'm trying to take a break from all that. I'm trying to step out of that spotlight and into what I'm truly good at, which is gaming and racing. I am driven against some of the best drivers in the world on some of these games, and I've won every single fucking time, and I've got the footage to prove it. So unless motherfuckers start subscribing to my channel like there's no tomorrow then how else am I supposed to get a professional sponsorship? Because believe me, I would love to do YouTube videos and game out and make a living off that and use that to support my music. I would love for that to happen. 
But like I said, unless I hit a million subscribers, or actually, let me look that up for you guys right now. Yeah, I'm looking this up for you guys right now. All right, here's the deal, guys. I'm looking right here on YouTube right now. Like, literally, I'm scanning through right now. Okay, guys, here's the deal. If I can reach 10,000 subscribers, that will actually give me a start. Because I just looked on the thing, on the YouTube creators thing. And if I can get 10,000 subscribers, 10,000, if I can hit that 10,000 mark, I can get literally a bronze play button, which will give me a good start. So I can promise you guys this. I will make this off. I'll make a deal with you guys right now. I start creating content every day, two, three, one, two, three videos a day. It doesn't matter however many videos I upload a day to my retro gamer channel and stuff like that. I will upload every day. You guys help me get to that 10,000 mark. And once I get to the 10,000 subscribers, I can promise you that I will do something for free for you guys. I tell you guys what, I hit 10,000 subs. As soon as I hit that 10,000 subscriber mark, I will send every single one of you guys, everybody who helps me out with this, I will personally send you guys some free retro gamer gear. Whether it's bags, whether it's a hat, whether it's t-shirts, shoes, no matter what it is, I will send you something free. So you guys help, I'll think of something, like I haven't really figured out what it would be, but like you guys see what I'm getting at. And it may not even be a physical item, it may be a wallpaper, or a free downloadable album of my music, or you know, a free custom character or something. You guys help me get to 10,000 subs, and I can promise you that I will do something for you guys in return. I haven't exactly figured out what, but I can promise you guys, I will do something for you guys. And also, anybody who helps me get to 100 subs on my Retro Gamer channel, I can promise you that you will be the first person to get a fucking shout out. That 100 subscriber will get a shout out. As well as a free Retro Gamer wallpaper, because that I can do, that's simple, quick, easy. So I'm making you this deal right here now, guys. You guys help me get to 10,000 subscribers. And I can promise you that I will do something free in return for you guys. It won't cost you guys a single thing. I mean, would I like to get to 10 million and, you know, become a pro? Yes, I would. But being as things are. It's not that simple. 
So you guys help me out and I will do something for you guys in return. I'm not the kind of guy to just sit there and be like, oh, like I'll do this and then not do it. No. Like, I will do something for you guys. But with that being said, guys, this has been Chance. And I need to hop off here because this thing does need to turn. Oh, shit, yeah, this thing does need to charge. It's almost dead. So, if you guys have not done so already, I will be posting in the comments right now. My YouTube channel, so you guys can go there and subscribe. And please, guys, share it around. You know, like, do what you guys got to do, and Share this stuff around. You know, all that good stuff. You guys know what to do. Share it around. Get people to subscribe. You know, all that, you know, stuff. Like, I'm just, you know, I'm just the YouTuber. I'm the guy that creates the content that you guys enjoy. So let me sign into my account here, and then I will send you guys the link, like, right now in the comments. And like I said, guys, I promise you that I will do something in return for you guys watching. You know, my videos and, you know, subscribing. Like, I'm not promising anything, you know, super major. But I am promising you guys that I will do something for you in return. For subbing. For helping me to get somewhere. Because I can never forget about you guys. You guys are the reason that I'm going to be getting somewhere. All right, right now I'm currently sitting at 33 subscribers, man. 33 subs. I know we can do it, man. We're at 33. We're a little under halfway to 100. So if you guys help me get to 100 and try to help me get up to, say, say we try to get 100 subs a month or a week. If you guys can help me get that at least, a hundred a week or a month. It don't matter which. I will personally do something for you guys for free. I can promise you that. But there's my link to my YouTube channel. Be sure to go there. Hit that like button. Hit that notification bell. And that subscribe button. Because I will be uploading daily for the next one to two months of me taking a break away from my music. And who knows, it may even be, I may even retire from music. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. But that has ran through my mind once or twice. I don't know. I'm not saying that I am retiring from music. I'm not saying that I'm not. But right now, at this point, it's kind of up in the air, depending on how things go. Like, if things go really well with this channel, yeah, I may end up, you know, retiring from the music scene and doing this. If it doesn't, no big deal. You know, I still got, you know, the radio station that I can play music for that I can, you know, do that. But I don't know how that's going to go yet. So that's kind of like a what if situation with that radio station. I don't know. But anyways, guys, I got to hop off here because I need to let this charge. So be sure to go check out my channel. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and hit that notification bell as I will be uploading daily, every day. I may do one, two, three videos a day. I don't know. Probably, more than likely, I will, though. And if there is any certain mobile gameplay footage that you guys would like to see me do, I will try my best to do it. Like, it depends, because certain games, like, I can't do games like, you know, Car X Drift Racing or anything like that, because, you know, obviously my Chromebook doesn't allow for the controllers, because if you guys are wondering, this is the controller that I do use. Like, I have two different controllers. Let me go grab the other one, and I'll show you exactly what I use. 
You guys are probably wondering, you know, what do I use for, you know, my, you know, like the games like my first person shooters, like um, Unkilled. This is the controller I use. It is a VR robot with blue ball joint analog controls, which I love this controller. If you guys are looking for a good brand of controller, and now the cool thing about this is it is compatible for a mobile device. Like if you have like a phone, I will actually go grab you guys the gear and show you exactly what I'm talking about. And by the way, you guys can pick this up on Amazon for like 10, 20 bucks. Not that much, but it's really worth it. And I'll show you why in just a second. All right, everybody, I'm back. You guys are probably wondering, why is the VR robot controller so worth it? Well, two reasons right here. These. If you guys are wondering what this is, this is the USB for like, if you have like, say a computer or something like that, you know, you can slide it into the, thing right you can slide it into the usb slot well how do you play it on a mobile device like a phone this little thing right here see what you do is you take this see as you can see it's got a usb slot what you do is you take this the usb that you would normally stick in the computer you put that And the top, right like that. See, it slides right in just like a regular USB. And then you place this end right here in your phone, your tablet, or whatever you're doing. Or whatever device you want to play your games on. So it's a really good brand for, like, I got this for, like, 20 bucks, like, well, that, well, this right here actually came with the VR robot wireless controller. It came with it. And if you ask me, it's very worth it. Like, it's high-end. Well, it's not, like, super high-end. But it's really good. It's very worth it. Um, I highly recommend it. And then the other controller, I don't know if you guys, you guys may have seen it in some of my videos which is just a regular USB controller, which you guys probably recognize, which is Thrustmaster. Only this is a classic. This one I use for games like, um, right now I'm currently using it for Asphalt Extreme Off-Road. Um, I use it for games like Real Racing, um, Ocelodo Racing. If you guys don't know, I am on Ocelodo Racing all the time. And games like that. But when it comes to like, you know, the first person shooters. Or like, you know, other games like that. I use this. So if you guys don't know, you guys can pick it up from Amazon. It's not that expensive at all. It's actually relatively cheap. You know, it's great. I definitely recommend it. It feels great in the hands. As you can see, you know, it's just like your regular, you know, PlayStation xbox whatever kind of controller um the only complaint that i have is that like you know it's shorter so it's more or less like a playstation controller but i do highly recommend it though it's really good easy to use you know it feels great in the hands the ball joints are very good so be sure to pick this stuff up if you can like if you're a gamer and you want a good controller to start out with whether it's for mobile devices like, you know, your Android or whatever. Or if you have like a Chromebook or like, you know, a laptop or some kind of computer where you need a wireless controller 
of some kind, definitely pick up VR Robot. It comes with these automatically. They come separately in the box. Uh, these I actually got for, you know, the VR wireless, the VR robot wireless controller is actually something I got for Christmas. So thank you, Mom. Love the controller. But if you guys do want a good branded controller, it does last. Like, I dropped this thing multiple times and it still works. Like, I legit dropped that thing many, many times and it still works like it's brand new. So it's definitely durable. So like if you guys want a good brand, be sure to pick up VR Robot. Um, I don't know if they have any in Walmarts. I don't know. I haven't been to Walmarts in for fucking ever to see. But you guys can order it from Amazon for like 10, 20 bucks. So if you guys want a good branded controller, I don't know if you guys see that, but there's the brand right there. VR Robot. Great brand. Love this brand right here. It's, it's my personal preference. My personal favorite. So if you guys are wanting to do it, wanting to do some gaming and you want like a good wireless controller, I highly recommend VR Robot. But with that being said, guys, I am going to hop off here, let this charge up a bit, and we'll see what happens from there. But uh, I'll catch you guys in a, probably in a few hours. If I don't pass out, I may do another live. I don't know. Depends. But uh, I'll see you guys later, man.